Very good morning to all participants, delegates, speakers, exhibitors, ladies and gentlemen. I believe you are all keeping safe and healthy. Moving on with life with changed perspective due to ongoing pandemic. As we know, this is the worst crisis faced by our generation and the crisis is global. The ill effect of pandemic uh, severely affected the health monitoring system and derailed the economy of almost every nation. Unlike some other key sectors impacted, such as manufacturing and retail, construction sector employs workforce that is deployed in concentrated circles and in and around project sites with relatively low level of automation there is high degree of dependency on physical presence of both skilled and unskilled workers. The speed and scale of recovery will be critical to overall economy. India's goal of becoming five trillion US dollar economy rests on completion of critical infrastructures under National Infrastructure Development Plan. It is critical to revival of the economy as Indian construction sector employs for 49 million people close to 12% of nation's working population and real estate construction itself is one of the largest employment generators and has multiplier effect on around 250 allied industries. COVID-19 impact across the economy is sudden and widespread. But this presents an unprecedented opportunity for us to respond and reset some of the baselines in the construction sector in India. People around the globe are brainstorming about how to handle the current ongoing situation and evolve new ways to life and sustain the economic and health of people. In this context, in India, CIDC has, uh, has been deliberating on issues related to COVID-19 and decided to organize a multifaceted conference and exhibition. The role of construction industry is paramount in Indian economy and therefore, the broad objective of the conference exhibition, uh, and exhibition has been named as revival of construction industry post COVID-19. Interesting during this conference, there are multiple tracks for separate deliberations on importance of subsectors sub of construction. One amongst these is a skilling initiative in India. In order to call out topics for discussion, a national level steering committee has been constituted and same is chaired by me along with 18 eminent experts and construction industry and the steering sectors. Based on deliberations during the steering committee, following issues have been picked up as topics for deliberation during conference and relevant ex experts have been identified for each of these topics. Now you are going to witness some of the finest experts deliberating on these topics. One, how the skilling and training could be imparted online and how much of the total content can be covered online and how the remaining portion will be covered with maintaining COVID guidelines and social distancing and others. The contents and online delivery would be very different and that would need to be modified. The framework needs to be evolved. There are trades, three, there are trades where online conduct of skill training is not practical and how do we impart training in such cases. Number four, top cost implications would require to be looked into carefully. Number five, the required online tools, the required online tools to be made available to every trainer, every learner and trainers and would be a challenge specifically in rural hinterland. Government policy level modifications, six 
government policy level modification would be required to be showcased in all for all the stakeholders. Managing Director of UP Skill Development Mission has agreed to present the same. Seven. Due to pandemic, a lot of new technology is bound to be practiced and new skills, the skill requirement to emerge. The same needs to be mapped and course to be developed. Eight, training of trainers for deli delivering training online would be required a lot of attention and there needs to be deliberation on the issue. In 21st century, developing and developed countries are investing quite a lot on developing new techniques and tools. We also have to develop our techniques and tools to suit our economy. And we have to do quite a bit of R&D and spend quite a lot of money. Ten. Other than techniques and tools, attitude of people and teamwork is very important. We have to pay attention to this aspect as well. The eleven, and lastly, the central government and state governments and other enterprises are spending a lot of money with enthusiasm on skilling and training. How much of this is giving us results, and how much? What is the quantum of it that needs to be assessed? And new studies may have to be evolved. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope that this conference will be very useful. You will all participate enthusiastically, and we hope to come out with some conclusions for benefit of nation. Thank you. Thank you.